Only one of the things was, I was not amused by Gary Ashton because what has come out of it now? Is Egypt better than it was? Is Tunisia better? The, the tail cannot be wagging the dog. It's the dog that should be wagging the tail. It is people that will need change in the society. We are not going to go to bed one night, wake up the following night, and discover that Nigeria has developed. No. Development is orchestrated. It is planned. It's a deliberate effort. It doesn't happen by accident. And it is leadership that will lead the process. It is somebody that will sit down with a vision and say, this is, what is politics? Politics is a vision of society. If you have a vision for the society, every plan, every policy, every program is how do we get, how do we realize this vision? You want to build a house, you call your architect, he gives you a design. There are probably 100 people trying that will work to make the vision, to, to realize the drawing. But it has started. Even your architect will tell you what do you want. The architect does not just come with a design. It tells you how many bedrooms, what do you want your life, what do you want your this and that. So development does not happen by accident. Many of us today are talking about Dubai, Dubai, Dubai. Hey, Dubai, I will tell you a lie. It was human beings that created Dubai. It was not God. I have not already told you where I say, and on the eighth day, God created Dubai. No. People saw that. People like you and I. You don't believe what I want to say. They don't have two words. Honestly, I'm, I'm being serious. They also spent nine months with their mother's school. They sat down. Uh, architects, uh, engineers, bankers, accountants, they sat down and planned. The story of Dubai is linked to the crisis in Lebanon. Beirut used to be the same capital for the Arab world. That's why they were drinking their wine and carrying their women. When civil war broke out, the Dubai we just saw an opportunity that look, Dubai is an emirate. And when you say an emirate, you are talking about an Islamic system. They just say, look, you know what civil war is happening in Lebanon? The Arab world needs a new civil capital. And it is not built around oil. You start talking about real estate, travel, tourism, trade. They sat down and said the airport will be here. This is a special zone for this. This is where we are going to have the real estate. They sat down. Human beings. Human beings. They are not angels. That is the work of vision. And they continue to push it. Today now, Dubai, 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 Nigeria is going to Dubai. You know, the visa policy is a deliberate policy to encourage people to come. So vision, when you have a vision of society, you know that you need certain things in place for the society to work. If, if you are a leader of Nigeria and you have vision of a great country, you know that we need electricity. It's not an option. That's why you concentrate your energy on that. No country has developed in modern times without electricity. I've never heard of any country that developed with generators. So you know that we need electricity. We need good roads. So that's why you put your efforts, not on presidential jets and gubernatorial jets that we have them now. So we are suffering from leadership that is, and that's why we have suffered for so many years. Unfortunately, I'm not one of those Nigerians who believe that all the problems of Nigeria should be hidden by the federal government. Okay, the federal government takes 50 something percent of the revenue, so let's bring them, let's apportion 50 something percent of the blame to the federal government. But what of state governors? What of councils? They are getting away with murder. Everybody is diverting attention and saying it's Abuja. People are telling you that you will change the revenue formula. And then we are believing we are buying the lie. And this is where I'm going. Forget about the fractionalization of PDP. Uh, new PDP, old PDP, same PDP anyway. Um, uh, NGF, uh, gang, uh, junk gang, uh, Amici and all that. Um, which other one? Progressives and regressive and all that. That is not the real factionalization going on in Nigeria. The real factionalization is 
the political leadership and the rest of us. Those are the two factions. Yes. These people that are fighting, they know where they meet. Now the ones taking sides. Now the ones that listen to them carefully when they are complaining. It's as they were on the table eating a bonus soup. Then somebody just come and grab the large piece of meat. That's why they're fighting. They're not fighting because of infant mortality. They're not fighting because of maternal mortality. When was the last time you heard that they were fighting the other assembly because they disagreed on how, uh, how the race should be tied? And you saw somebody telling us, that's what somebody said. What about the state of schools? They're not bothered. It's none of their business. It's none of their business. They will never fight over that. It's just a committee of friends having a minor disagreement. Don't you, have you not noticed something about Nigerian politicians? They fit in anywhere. It's in the PDP today, tomorrow it's in a... Let's see, I know that's another one. APC. And no contradiction. I see that we'll forever. It's not based on philosophy. It's not based on ideology. If you saw some of people are now progressive in this country, hey! I can't believe it. If I bought our land today, we will be called a progressive. Look, I can't believe it. There was a minister under a bachelor who has gone all over the world saying there are no political prisoners in Nigeria. It's not a progressive. So they are all the same. Oh, most of them are the I don't want to be absolute now. So the, we, we, the problem we have as Nigerians should unite us. When people are selling ethnicism to you, I say uh, it's, uh, it's because uh, uh, I'm from Stoso Park. And we buy it. I want to give you an assignment. Anytime you heard that EFCC has, has taken some people to court, look at the names and the ethnic groups. They are not from the same village. You will see federal character. Very reflective. <laughs> Somebody will go from Kogi State, another will go from Ogu State. Tell my rugby gang that has been operating for five years without betraying each other. You will see Malam there, you will see Ogbonu there, you will see Ogbofi there. Ten man rugby gang. At that stage, nobody is talking of an ethnic group in the geopolitical zone. The people that have destroyed this country, they have the same ethnic group. They are an ethnic group for their own. In their own. I don't know what to call them. And they fly so easily with each other. Any incident of meeting at all, go and check it. Look at the pensions fund. Check it, please, and, and take it upon yourself. That is the way we are. But when they now want to manipulate us, they will not be telling you about uh, it's because I'm from this part or because I'm from that part. And we, the people, we, the one that hurts me the most, that we swallow all this nonsense. We don't question them. No, it's the turn of uh, South South, it's the turn of South West. We, we just, we just buy them. We don't ask questions. And so that's why I say, look, if we are going to confront all these challenges, ethnic, economic, political, we must do that as one well, people. I have been to most states of the Federation. I see the same problems. I see children walking to school without shoes. Although they will become president with anyway. <laughs> Hospitals, you see the way they are being treated. Please take time, go to move. Go and see the way people are being treated. It doesn't matter what the group. That is why we have to see ourselves as one people. We have to see ourselves as new Nigerians, not somebody from one enclave, always holding on. The politicians of yesterday, yes, they still want to divide. We want to unite. The young Nigerians that I see, we want to come together. We want to forget about every bridge. We are not supposed to be taking money and saying, no, not us go and stop taking us. And I keep asking, okay, fine, if we break up Nigeria, the southerners who are living in the north, are they going to come back home? 
the Ebola shot in Jess, we don't return to the Ebola shot. So I don't go to 